guys welcome back to my channel so we're back with another never requested video just kidding this video was actually requested and it would be so embarrassing if after I filmed this I go back to check and the comment is gone I don't think they would do that to me. I don't think they would do that to me. Okay, so yeah, so this was a requested video. Um, it's going to be pretty much me trying to style my maxi dresses. It's pretty much, much my vintage maxi dress collection that I have. Um, and I'm going to try to like layer them. Because the problem I have with like dresses in general is sometimes I feel like it's so boring to style. Like just throwing the dress on. And then, I mean, you could put accessories and stuff, but it's like, I like layering. I want to layer some stuff. Even though I don't live in a layering environment, I still want to be a layering girly. Okay, let me live. But yes, yeah, so I'm going to try to layer them just to, you know, spice up the looks a little bit. Um, but without making it too hot. Because it is, you know, spring, summertime, especially where I live. It's hot. It's rainy, it's muggy, it's foggy, it's hot. The animals are out, the frogs are out. The frogs are everywhere, especially at night. Not just the frogs, all the animals, snakes. Just the other day, someone called me. There's a snake in your home. I love nature, you know, I love the animals, but at a distance. My life flashed before my eyes. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay, but that was a scary time. But anyways, yeah, so I'm going to be styling maxi dresses, hopefully in a way where I think that if I was to actually try out these styles, because I do want to try them out, I don't think, like, I'll be hot in them. I hope. So we'll see. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much to the person that requested it. If you deleted that comment, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna hunt you down because why would you embarrass me like that? But I know you wouldn't. I mean, I don't know you, but I feel like deep down. You know. But anyways, yes. I'm gonna stop rambling. Enjoy the video. See you guys soon. For the first look, we are styling this Vivian Tam maxi dress um, with this tiger print on it. It reminds me of a Studio Ghibli animation. If I find the image I am thinking of in my head, I will post it. I can't think of the movie, but it's like at the tip of my tongue. At the tip of my tongue. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm styling um, this maxi dress. It is quite um, sheer width and also equally sheer you can't tell but the top the off the shoulder top that I'm wearing with it with is also very very sheer as well it was it's a hundred percent cotton but they used like five pieces of cotton to create this shirt that's how thin the material is I decided decided to pair um, the whole look with my little tabby Mary Jane's and I know looking at it firsthand it's like spring summer why are you wearing long sleeve the colors are kind of dark but like I said both materials are extremely extremely shin shin yes they are shin honey no they're extremely thin and sheer so it's not really that hot well hot at all because the wind is blowing right through the little fabrics I promise you. <laughs> and this is just a close up of the shoes, but of course, to make it a bit more spring summer, you can also, you know, opt in for cute little sandals, little flip flops, or something. And to bring the whole look together, I decided um, that I would style them with this vintage secondhand red um, little shoulder bag. 
I could not, I don't know what brand this is. It didn't have any tag or anything in it. Um, and the material, it's like this, it kind of gives the illusion of like alligator skin. I don't think, well, I don't know. I'm not sure what, what the material is made out of. It just kind of looks like alligator skin. Um, but I really, really liked the red color. I always wanted like a cute little mini red shoulder purse. This isn't like the exact shape that I wanted, but this was like even cooler than what I um, was imagining. And then as you can see, you can wear it like the long way, like having the, the shoulder um, straps long or make them short like that. I'm not sure if that is how you're actually supposed to do it, but that's how I'm doing it, okay? And for the second look, I'm wearing this button down floral sleeveless dress um, with a little t-shirt underneath from Oh Mighty. Um, this look is a lot more lighter um, than the last one. It was very, you know, very flowy. The dress has a, a lot more movement to it. This one I really, really enjoyed. It's It makes me feel like I'm going on a little little cafe date or something um i might wear this to a little cafe date so cute it was it was one of my favorites and for shoes i'm wearing these dress shoes that i got years ago from aldo um and then i just replaced the laces with some old ribbons that i had lying around I keep seeing these types of like um, shoes like all over my Pinterest and Tumblr boards. And for my bag, I got this thrifted, not thrifted, it was like secondhand from eBay. Um, this little satchel type of bag. Um, and it's leather, made out of leather because you can smell it. That thing is strong. I feel like you probably smell the leather through the camera um the only thing about this bag it's not really secure because it doesn't the flap doesn't close or attach to anything it's just kind of flipped over and it opens and it has one little um well two openings the main one and then a little zipper section where you can kind of like put your purse or other things that you want to secure um and then the straps aren't really that adjustable but i use it as like a laptop bag for when i go out a little cafe or like office day or something like that i really like it it's really cute and i added my own little little knickknacks onto it just to make it my own and this look was my least favorite out of everything else i just i don't know what it is about it I think it's the color combo, which is insane because yellow and green are one of my top like favorite colors, so I don't know. <laughs> but I was just trying to find something to layer this maxi dress with, and it was just this sheer top um, that I got from Nin Studios. It was on sale. Um, I think it should still, might still be on the site because she does do like small batches of stuff. Um, so I thought it would have, you know, went together, especially with the little yellow floral patterns on the dress, but I don't, it's not, it's not my favorite. Um, and then I just paired it again with my little tabbies. Um, it is a fairly long dress. Um, it's like almost touching, the, like barely, like a few inches away from touching the ground. Um, but you know, it's a, it's a style. You'll see through the video, I'm like trying my best to make myself like really like it enjoy the fit like grow into it i'm like moving it around i'm staring at it it's just it's a work in progress for this look
and for my bag I'm styling this um, little satchel that I thrifted a while back it's like a velvet um, with all these little beaded designs on it um, it's also a flap it's more secure than the computer bag because it has like the little velcro that closes it up um, and then I just tied the um, strap a little bit um, just to make it a little bit shorter because it was a lot longer than it looks now but I prefer it um, in this shorter length so something about this it's like it goes but it doesn't you know what I mean and also my great earrings that I made and for this next look I am styling my favorite Issey Miyake dress I had to edit this video a little bit because I did not realize until after <laughs> how sheer this little dress is so it is definitely you know spring summer will definitely not be sweating in this let you know that right now um but i styled it with this um thrifted long sleeve shirt that i'm just gonna wear as well in outerwear um the colors obviously it's just purple <laughs> um monochrome so it went really well together it's the first time i've ever styled it like that and i think i really like it i'm probably gonna um recreate it once again um this is where this is this was the part where i realized <laughs> i i should have you know just worn different undergarments I was like, oh, I'm going to do a nice little pose, you know what I mean? A little nice little hands on the hip, you know, show off the dress a little bit. Yeah, no. <laughs> mm -mm. No. Just, you know, I'm going to do better next time, guys. I will do better next time. And for shoes, I'm styling it with my baby Prada heels that I glued together, if you remember from last time. Um, I think it really paired nicely together. I like the way, you know, it all looks all together. Then for the back, I don't know. I just wanted to bring this one back. I don't know what it is about this bag. I said, oh, I'm going to attempt to style it more once, and it just keeps popping up in my wardrobe. I guess I meant what I said, and I said what I meant. It Does it go for real with this color-wise, pattern-wise? No, but just something about it goes. And these earrings from Etsy. And for this final look, I am styling this Issey Miyake top. Um, with this with the thrifted um, black maxi dress um, that I thrifted like a while back it was like freshman year of college or something I've had this dress for a long time um, and this was actually one of my favorite looks I just really really enjoyed I think the silhouette and then the colors of black and the dark navy blue together um, I like the way that it flowed and I'm pairing it with of course my little baby product heels I don't know what it is about this one this is definitely definitely my favorite look out of everything and I really enjoyed styling this to be honest I think it might be because of the movement like I really like the flow of it and how free it just felt um, wearing this look so I think that's why it's just so fun I feel like dancing like um, that one Issey Miyake um, runway shoot where the people are like dancing and bouncing up and down on the runway that's what this reminds me of And then for my bag, I'm just wearing this thrifted Nine West bag that I just accessorized and made all of these um, little chains that I put onto it. Um, I thought it paired well with my little necklace um, that I also 
made um and then the the earrings i did not make those <laughs> someone in etsy made that one <laughs> we are nearing the end thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate everyone and everyone's comments and all the subscribers you guys are amazing have a good day see y'all in the next video bye